Welcome to the vlog and today is Saturday. It is 4th of July so we are celebrating here in Sugarland with Troy's family. We're gonna barbecue, we're gonna swim, I'm gonna share with you what I eat today. But first I'm about to do my live Zoom workout with my clients at 8 in the morning so I gotta go ahead and prepare for that and I'm gonna share with you guys the workout. So see ya! Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now let's do butt kicks. In three, two, one, like this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. Let's do forward lunge and twist. So you lunge and then you twist. Right leg, right twist. Left leg, right. left twist. Let's go. Good job. We'll do 20. Eighteen, 
nothing. Honey, okay. grab your dumbbells. We're gonna do lunge to press. Come on, you got it. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. Right leg first. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go take a rest. Woo, the water. Got one minute rest and then one more round. All right, this is what I'm gonna have for my post workout shake. Um, I like this one. It's easy. Um, we are in Houston, so I wasn't able to bring my protein powder, but um, I normally would have a smoothie with like spinach, banana, and all that with my either whey protein or vegan protein. But this is what we have here. This is good because it only has 160 calories, 30 grams of protein, perfect to up your protein throughout the day. And it only has one gram of sugar. And then I'm gonna have half a banana for that carbs, potassium. All right, it is 9.28 and I'm about to go to the store. I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna attempt to make sushi bake today since it's 4th of July, so I will, see we shall see if it's a success all right all right i got the nagi this is the vegan version i'm gonna have my husband eat unagi sushi unagi don't worry and then i am going to make scallops and canny sushi bake let's do this going to use a food processor or a KitchenAid mixer but we don't have it here so we're gonna use this food processor with it using the dough hook and we're going to mince this so we don't have to keep shredding them one by one perfect life easier for all of us your cream cheese but I already got the whip one so I don't need to do that and then I'm gonna include half a cup of QP Mayonnaise. And we're gonna mix it. Go to work, go to work, go to work. Alright, so now we're just going to mix our whipped cream cheese and candy. Minced candy. With QP mayonnaise. All that, put them in a bowl. We're gonna transfer our mince candy. We're just gonna fold it in. Fold it in. We are going to add four tablespoons of tobiko. This is your flying fish roll. Four tablespoons. One, two, three. Oh, almost the entire jar, Michelle. We're gonna save some for these scallops. And then we just mix it. There you go. We're gonna prepare the rice now. So I already cooked the sushi rice. So we're gonna transfer them into a bowl. Ooh, look at this. Anyways, and we're just gonna include sushi vinegar. It's still hot. We're gonna season our rice with sushi vinegar. We don't have rice cooker here, so I am I cook my rice from, from this pot. If you don't know how to make rice using pot like this without burning the rice, you ain't real Filipino. Alright, we're gonna have 
sushi vinegar. Maybe like a tablespoon or two. I'll do three tablespoons. And then three and a half cup of rice. And then just mix it. Just adjust it to your taste preference, but I think this is good for me. Try. Mm. Yeah. That's good. We're gonna put this in a pan. I'm gonna layer them for ricotta and all that stuff. For your sushi rice in a baking pan, and then add some furikake and then togarashi. Let's go. All right. And then now we're gonna add our candy mixture on top. All right, so now we are going to put them in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Here's the sushi bake. We're gonna try it out after with some nori and furikake and soy sauce if you want. The other half is topped with scallops and this one is just a canny. Yummy, yummy! All right, it is done. We got all the condiments, like I said, the furikake, togarashi, sliced mangoes, and the soy sauce, and then the sushi bake and nori. This is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna try it with one nori and I'm gonna try it with the, what is this, with the scallops. I'm gonna take a scoop. Ooh, it's hot. Oh no, my my thing fell. And then we're just gonna add one mango. Ooh, it's hata hata, steaming hot. Ooh, I'm burning. And then let me just add a little bit of furikake on top if you want more seasoning. That and a little bit of soy sauce, like a regular sushi. What are you, baby? What are you doing? What are you? I'm a cheese. You're a cowgirl? Show me. Come on. Ah! No. Wee -wee -wee -wee. Wee -wee. You're a cowgirl? <laughs> Yo. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Just spying on my father-in-law. He doesn't want to be in the videos. But he's cooking, he's grilling. We got some corn. Oh, grilled veggies and asparagus. Vegan burger and hot dog. Chicken. Grilled chicken. And some salmon. Yummy. Time for dessert. We got gourmet oatmeal raisin walnut cookies. And chocolate chunk pecan. Yummy. With vegan ice cream. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, you guys, and that is it for the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know your comments, suggestions for the next video, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.